Today, I watched a bunch of terrifying FNAF VHS tapes with you guys. Now, basically, if you were in the live stream, a bunch of my subscribers and I were watching FNAF VHS tapes, and honestly, these are terrifying. This is a part two of the highlights of that stream, so let's get right into it. That one looks hype. The Foxy, that looks hype. It's gonna be a big one. All right, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards of the FBI. And this is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you too. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation, and this is the Police Sergeant David Miller. Please take a seat. What's All right. So, uh, go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know, and everything you guys are suspicious of. Oh, so it's just like. If I'm not mistaken, this is a dark, case of a serial murder. Is that happened? correct? Yes, sir. As well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. Okay. This first case involved a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing ever since. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a lot of gunshots, some recognized it as a shotgun blast, that came from the parking lot during the night. When shot. we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found shattered glass from a broken window. Whoa, 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 what? Is this talking after about the incident? Hold up. Is this after the the one we watched, the paranormal one? Window pane that landed on the outside. Yeah, so this of is the part building. two. We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground, as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. So we Why asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building Freddy power shot be shut him. off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any I'll time, nobody could this. exactly prove that the company itself was involved. So, we eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place, saw Mr. Roberts approaching the building, and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. Again, they said no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time that it could have happened, so they inferred that maybe the revealing power had randomly shut off prove they were responsible for his disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. So we kept a closer eye on him this time. Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on well, October like 29th, 1986. Again, no evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, Bozo, they agreed, sure. but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to look for it. So y'all start to sense a pattern here. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families, costing the company millions in reparations and bringing them closer to bankruptcy. I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about this guy you caught last night? How does he fit into all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. Uh, he confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson, as well as the additional three cases we just talked what? about, claiming that so they were too close to discovering guy? the truth. Which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, he said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this, he said nothing. 
and he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now even after letting the cat out of the bag. Also, his responses don't seem very genuine. Don't seem genuine? Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. I, I, well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It was too easy to catch him. I'll say. Son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try to fight, resist, escape. Nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. Thought he'd pull a fast one on us last night and we got him. All I'm saying is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. Yeah, bro. Could be parts of this Look that we cameras, don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Look at the cameras. Well, unfortunately, the court doesn't care about could be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? There is one thing, and it's another major reason we brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last oh, okay. night. Oh, okay. Right, they, got, they got it. They got the footage. There are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot Honey, show can the public. Honey, can I see public. your fastballs? Bro, what? At least not yet. Uh-huh. All no right, fastballs then. for you. Show us what you got. Okay, let's see. They recorded it. The police recorded it. Is that camera rolling? Let's see. Yep, it says recording. All right, good. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Which way are they heading? Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. Oh shit, is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Why the hell are they driving so slow? Mm, I don't know. Freddy Fazbear. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it now before they try something. Three Echo 10 to dispatch, over. Three Echo 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot on that Bolo 492 white GMC box truck currently heading northbound on 99. Roger, ready for the play detail. That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. Alright, alright. And it's a Wisconsin plate, over. That's a positive ID. Vehicle was reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. 10 for dispatch. Thanks for the assist. All right, let's pull him over. <laughs> All right, pull that guy over. That was pretty quick. That's pretty quick. He knows. He knows. All right, respectful. Thank you for the one dollar. Appreciate that, man. Plenty new Fortnite okay. girlfriend reveal. Not we'll yet. Welcome to the driver's side. Tell what's going on. See if we can get the squared away. It's the time to be ready to back me up. All right. Yes, sir. All right. All right. This isn't too scary. You know, this is fine. If he gets shot, that's the. It's gonna be nuts, bro. It's gonna get shot. How you guys doing this evening? Alright, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? Just wanna make sure you don't take off and run on me now. Thank you very much. Alright, do you know why I stopped you just now? Well, there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular bottle of vehicle. Now, I ran your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Uh-oh. He's gonna shoot you now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I mean, this looks to be y'all's vehicle, so, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna assume anything, right? He, you know how companies like to make shit up all the time so you can rip people off, you know? Mm-hmm. Appreciate the one dollar. Right, well, let's so. see if we can get this figured out. You have a license and registration on you? Perfect. I assume this is a commercial vehicle. Alright, nothing's happening, bro. Okay, let's see. You got your license for that. Alright, let me go ahead and rerun the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away. Alright? Alright, set tight for me. 
I thought I was gonna see like a like, like a whole animatronic run away or something. At least there's two of them, right? It's not just one, so. You might follow the same for me. I'm gonna take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, sure thing. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Thank you, man, for the dollar. I appreciate that, man. Ready for the details? License number is going to be 126-266-79. That's 126-266-79. First name Oscar, last name Master. M-A-S-T-E-R. He's a 34-year-old white male with short brownish black hair. Over. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a time on the number? 126-266-79. Seven, nine. If there's an ammo truck that hops out the back, I'm gonna go crazy. I got no one listed under that name. Is it expired? Negative dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Well, they seem to be acting nuts. pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. 10-4. Yeah, this guy's hey, Daryl. Yeah, what's up? This is a fake ID. Shit, really? Just read the details to dispatch twice, and they came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No, look, it says it expires in 92. Damn. Okay, then. All right, I'm going to get the driver out in a cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Okay, will do. Oh, something's gonna happen, bro. Something bad's gonna happen. I can already tell. I, I don't feel good. Something's gonna happen. Why is he walking like that, bro? He's walking. Hey, man, like I'm gonna need you to step out of the vehicle for. Hey, where the hell is your friend? Oh, fuck! Daryl? Oh, he's dead. Three Three ten. Ten. Officer, Officer down. down. Shots fired. fired. Don't, Don't move. move. Show, Show me your hands, hands. now. now. Bro, there's fucking animatronics in the back. I knew it. I, fu I knew it. You yes, motherfucker! motherfucker! I said! What? Why are they on his side? And I like how that guy just left. What now? Just stick to the plan. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 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 that is terrifying, bro. Thank you for the dollar, man. That guy, that guy running the forest is gone. Oh, he's still alive? How? Oh, I guess he just tackled him. I guess he didn't kill him. I thought he was dead. The echo tend to dispatch. I would have closed that truck for you. Dispatch, can you read me? Chica's gonna move. Can anyone hear me right now? Oh, this is not good. Oh, fucking great. I survived. I can't believe he's still alive, bro. He's not bleeding or anything. He's just chill. He got tackled by a fucking, like, ton Daryl! Of... Oh, Daryl, a little zesty, bro. You, buddy? Nah, that guy got shot by, like, a shotgun. That guy went flying. Damn it, man. I'll make him fucking pay for this. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Over. Does anyone read me? How'd you not? Ah, he you shot like two. eight times. Fuck. Like he was fucking like, bang, 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 bang. He fucking did. Uh, how do you, he didn't even shoot the guy that before he shot him. I don't know. I'm just saying. That guy had probably shitty ass aim. He didn't even touch the the robber. God damn it, Daryl. The one time we need a spare. Ugh. Bro, All Daryl's right. dead. Think. Why are you getting Think. mad at him, bro? Daryl's. Um. Over there. Hey, I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all this. Just go. Wait a minute. Dragon Where the hell truck. they go? They ran to the forest. Why didn't they just take off from the truck? Oh, they're up to something. They have to be. Is this thing still rolling? Bro, why are you so calm? Your fucking oh, friend's shit, it dying. Is. Okay. Go take Daryl, put him in the trunk, and fucking get out of there. Let's see if I can find out where they went. Alright. It looks like they went off the right in what? this direction. 
Let's see if I can catch up to them. Well, this, I don't care what that thing is. Dying. No one's getting away from me that easily. Not after what they did to Oh, me. he's dead? Alright, I mean, if he's dead, I guess, yeah, you just leave him. I mean, like, if you're trying to help him... Damn. What is this place? Looks abandoned. Or at least pretty run down. It's gotta be a mall or something. The hell are they doing in a place like this? I like how Foxy ran after them too. Either Foxy killed them or Foxy just like buddied up with them. This must be where they broke in. Or at least where someone broke in. By the way, for any new viewers, leave a like on the stream. It helps me out a whole bunch. And uh, subscribing is Jesus. also a W. This place definitely looks bigger on and the inside. And join the Discord. We're so close to I 8K I mean, it looks members. fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go. Yeah, bro. Why, did, why does he go after them? Your friend died, and he just got tackled by a robot. I would be... Fuck, bro. I'd be... Happy, I'm still alive. This These are the old sick. businesses they closed down. Who are you, are you live streaming right now, bro? Like, why? Are you, who are you talking to? Architecture looks super retro, though. This place had to be built in like the late '60s, early '70s, at least. I wonder if there's still. Uh, no way. How is there still power in this place? Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. I think that's a map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. Okay, let's see. Office, office, W, office, I see that. Office. Thank you. I appreciate the subs uh, ah, subscribing. Here, okay. Second floor on the east side. All right, let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. Oh, fuck, she just fucking jumped on him. <gasps> Wait. How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? Will you quit your fucking bitching and hand me the pliers? Ah, I see. They're scrappers. They got a gun fucking- I wonder what they need all that for, though. Shoot them. Shoot them. I would 360 no-scope them. Okay, I got it. Open the bag. I heard that! Who's there? Hey! Who's that? Oh, fuck it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the fuck? Mm. Damn! What gun did that guy got? That guy got a shit gun compared to what they got. It's just him! Come on, let's go! Now, hurry up! At least they left. That guy survived somehow. This guy's lucky as fuck. He just got like sprayed down. They guys, these guys have shit aim. You guys think this is a fucking game? Come out with your hands up! Now! That is... That, uh -oh. What the hell? Sir, I don't think that's a human. Holy shit! That thing's mad fast! Oh, 
Foxy doesn't like doors, man. You should know this. Oh! That's nuts. Why do you keep looking back, Bo? Knows you're there. He literally has lights in his head. There's no way this guy doesn't see him. I gotta get back up here now. Damn. This guy survives another nine minutes. I don't know how. Average NPC cop. Oh, come on. Yes! There we go! God damn it! It's locked! Jump through the window! Uh, oh, fuck it! Uh. Yeah. Or kick the door! That, that works. Yeah, that works too. Yes! Still works! I don't know All how right. he's fast. Send in the, the cavalry. Fox. It doesn't make any sense. Come on, come on, pick up! Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Damn, calm your horses, bro. Tame This them. sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. I heard ah, shit. Just give me some backup, damn it. Yeah, this guy's fucking yelling. Chris! What? He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! Ah, fucking shit! Alright, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. Oh, so it is on their team. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. What do you mean? We can't let the thing? cops find it! It's gotta come with us! That thing's fast as fuck, and it just jump scares don't you. Don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. Jesus! If he lives, plenty must do the fuck What the fuck? Bro, he is not living. What is even happening? Okay, I, how is that guy? How is that? How is Foxy an ally? I don't understand. There he is! Oh shit! Oh, Foxy was just chilling. Ah! Fuck! How you like that, you coward? Let's see you run. Oh, oh fuck, Fox is gonna get up now. Fox is gonna 
Fox is so slow. Oh, how? He's crippled. A taser. That would make sense. Okay. This guy's the main character here. This guy's the main character. Didn't think that would actually work. How did he live? In time. Bro, how? Yeah, he's shot. Clyde, MCPD. Wait, Clyde? Y yeah. Yeah, Sarge, it's me. Holy shit. Stand down. He's with us. Thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios were busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl, then? Wasted, Sarge. Got shot up pretty bad. I think he's dead. <sighs> Damn it. All right, where is he? Hey, Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen you, truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. That makes sense. Go down, so secure the part of the said, highway, uh, and get medical. Someone said that Foxy uh, was slower because of the light. That makes a lot more sense. Pull down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me. You hurt? I got my head bashed pretty hard, and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Can you fight? I'll try. All right, good. We need all the help we can get before the they escape. Ending. <laughs> what do they look like? This is literally the good ending. Hard to tell. Both of them were in this ski one masks even and all scary. black. I mean, it was fucked it up seemed like Daryl got but... a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol, and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. All right. Bravo, Charlie, sweep this building. Let's smoke these guys out. The rest of you are on me. Let's move! Why is he going back around too, bro? Get out of there. Looks like you're all gonna die to Foxy now. The bad ending. They just all they just all died of Foxy. This guy's bleeding and he's still bleeding. Hands up! All you got eyes on. Let me see your hands! Drop the gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Drop the gun and drop your hands! Him. Alpha 1, out copy. We're pinned down! The assistant's on the second floor! Bro, it's one guy just fucking shooting. How bad is your aim? He's in the middle of these early standing in the home. Hello? What? He's dead! Throw neutralized! All units, suspect down. Repeat, fucked. suspect eliminated. Something Whoever took the shot get got... hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fall in! On me! Department, come out with your hands up! I can't! The door's stuck! I can't open it! Hands up now! Face the wall on your fucking knees! What's happening now? Oh, they actually got him. Oh. What's your name? Identify yourself! Henry! Henry Emily! 
Henry Emma. What? What? Whose fucking name is Henry? Go. If you guys want to watch these, you know where to watch. Oh, okay, cool. Non-existent video. Hello, new Fredbear employee, and welcome to the mascot costume assembly training tape. There are two types of suits, Fredbear and Bonnie Bon. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like These that. These suits double as both animatronic suits and wearable costumes for performers. <coughs> what? It's efficient and eliminates any differences in appearance as to not break the immersion. The wearable costumes will only be used when an animatronic is in repair. guys in the suit Oh that's weird What the fuck is that Oh, that's so weird. Nah. The suit is made up of three layers. The first layer is a fabric costume that we normally see. The second layer is a fiberglass shell that forms the structure of the character. The third layer is an exoskeleton. This layer is the closest to your body when being worn. What? It How do you put that the on? It of the heavy components and is responsible for holding all the spring locks. Oh, so you're like in it. That's fuck. That's how fucking spring Afton does. Spring locks are the locks that hold all the springs used to attach to the animatronic. <laughs> However, these springs can be very dangerous if the suit is not prepped carefully. Oh. Bro, now this you get more, and now you can see like how Afton got it. To prep the costume like all the into suit just mode, get we shall into start it. by winding up all the spring locks with a hand crank. Insert the hand crank into the lock sockets located behind the animatronic. There are 10 lock sockets in total. Two on each limb, one on the back of the body, and one behind the head. Next, remove the gloves and feet. That's so much work. You'll need to remove the head before taking off the costume. Simply remove the head as well as the fiberglass structure underneath. Then peel off the fabric costume. Once removed, you'll need to detach the fiberglass oh, shell it's from really the not exoskeleton. Hard. Lastly, remove the exoskeleton from the animatronic. To put on the the spring locks this too much. Fucked, man. Next, you'll need to reattach the fiberglass shell back on. Then, put on the fabric layer. Once applied properly, put on the gloves and feet. Lastly, you'll need to put on the head. But before you do, you'll need whoa, to put whoa, the who, head into the formal mode there? by winding up a small socket on the inside of the head to reveal the fake eyes. This is terrifying, bro. So, I mean, at least you can see what it looks like to be in, like... In the event of a spring lock failure, yeah. do not panic. Keep as still as possible and call for help. Calm your breathing and have a partner wound up the hand crank to lock the spring locks once more. Bro, that's fine. Then safely and gently remove the suit. It's gonna show Afton, I guarantee it, bro. It's gonna show Afton. Some random ass kid. Oh, okay, alright, that's. Alright. 
This is getting wild, bro. Please stop staring at me, sir. You're making me uncomfortable. Alright, buddy, you wanna stop staring at me like that, man? You're freaking me out. I bit someone. I bit someone. Hey, do me a favor. Uh, maybe somehow uh, you can check inside those suits or uh, little background. Four tapes hidden inside their empty heads. That's I hate the carousel, bro. Are these the other? I, th I think these are the other ones attached to there. Oh, is this the fifth one? Oh, thank you for the three dollars. Would you rather make out with me for five hundred dollars or Chica for free? Chica for free. I'm sorry. Chica's just it's Chica, bro. Before your brother died. What else happened? Okay, I'm watching. Let's see this. Oh, that's fucked. That's fucked. You just got spring locked. You just got spring locked. Ah, you got spring locked. My my dad? Oh, it's fucking spring trap. Oh, yo, what's up? Don't show me. I don't, I don't want to see it. No, thank you. Okay, that was just... Oh, there's more. Okay. That's just... It's just scary, you know, man. <laughs> what? Pretty sure to talk about after. Why is the marionette being so weird? Okay, so I'm Michael. kind of sweet. Puppet seems nice. Oh, see, that's nice. What? Yo. This is getting weird. Smash your past. It's been a real pleasure having you here tonight. And just remember that a friend is the best thing you could ever have. When Bob gets you down, a friend will be there to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was that was a fun time. I got stuck in a water machine. And a friend of mine had a cut of hell in it just to 